I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. We have The Witcher 3 here, third game in the series, obviously, and one, uh, well, I wanted to play the game, that's for damn sure, but I unfortunately don't have the biggest background when it comes to The Witcher series. Never read any of the books. I played the first Witcher game for a total of about a half an hour, and missed the second game entirely, and then bought into the third game. So, I probably don't have quite the background in the series that the developers had in mind, so there's a lot of references and everything they were probably expecting me to get that, well, just slipped me past. So I'm going to do the best I can anyway while playing through this game. Now here we are in sort of not, not really a flashback, more of a dream. We're starting the game off in a dream into kind of a tutorial section in Care Moran, I think it's called, which is a Witcher keep somewhere off in the wilderness. Now this serves as kind of a tutorial section. You can learn uh, tra uh, traversal of the environment and combat mechanics and all that kind of stuff. And you're introduced to a few different characters. We have Yennefer here, a character we won't see for quite a while. We'll see Siri in a minute. Um, what's his name? The Old Witcher. A couple of other guys. Way to introduce these characters so you recognize them when you stumble across the characters later on in the game. But it's not really a flashback, it's just sort of a dream that, that Geralt is having. I guess kind of a uh, fabrication of events. This, this never happened, it's just sort of all happening in his head. I guess he has some sort of like a psychic link to Ciri or something like that, where he can tell if something's ha gonna happen to her, then you can sort of have a weird dream about it. But anyway, this is going to be a new game plus, meaning I had beaten the game before. Reloaded the save into a new game where my character is carrying over most of his equipment and his level, but the enemies are scaling their way up to him, and the equipment is scaling way up to what I'm carrying. So. I'm going to have to uh, start swapping out my equipment pretty soon. But uh, I'm going to try and play this game a little bit different than I had originally. Not that you would see me play it originally, but I want to have... I want to make different decisions. So if the decisions that I'm making in game seem a little crazy, because I did something else before. One thing I'm not terribly fond of in this game is kind of its control scheme. Geralt just sort of stumbles around. I mean, you can get used to it. Once you get used to it, it's all good. And this sort of Witcher senses sort of puts a kind of a fisheye lens view on the world where everything gets blurry Nothing and distorted silver. towards the Gold edges. And honestly, it, it's not, not comfortable that. to watch. I hear there's a setting that I can disable that, but I don't know. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. There's a key we gotta find around here somewhere. 
I think it's on that book on the other side of the room. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive. Not to mention unreasonable. <sighs> yeah. Better go see Siri. Go and train with her. Then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. I am playing this on PC and I have a couple of odd mods installed here and there. Maybe that's the reason why the physics for um, Geralt's pendant and Yennefer's hair is all wonky. But maybe not. I don't know. I'll try adjusting the settings later. See if I can get it to work better. I have to give a lot of credit to CD Projekt Red, the Polish developer that created this game. They put a lot of attention to detail. More on that later. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. She prefers practice to theory. Hmm? Why? Time to wake up, Master. Are these lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone, it only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start, Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true, but you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame, but this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. Hey. 
Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri? Sure to find every last blade for you. What the? I 